All right, Proteus. This is uh, not usually my kind of game, but I actually kickstarted this one. I don't know what it was. Maybe the gratuitous gore. But uh, anyways, I just wanted to go over this briefly because I'm doing it because it's kind of a culmination of a lot of recent newer things I've been doing. So I am incorporating three specific little uh, steam controller tips for this one. So first, let's uh, yeah, just go to the pistol. So this was actually the first game where I started using the fast tap on left trigger to reload. Uh, I only uh, just I couldn't show that progress because this was uh, as a Kickstarter backer. This was a uh, like I just had a closed a closed alpha. You know, so you fire. It's just a little dunk. Quick reload, but you still have the left trigger, and you can see it even better. Right trigger. So it's just a very deliberate quick tap of that trigger. Now the other... Let me try to get... Yeah, so the other thing is... Also, same, same principle, the fast tap on the right pad. I just tap it, that's my interact. Just give it a quick little dump. Just to make it a little bit more obvious. So it's just gonna be a quick, like this, dunk, dunk. I just tap it, but it never gets in the way of the responsiveness of the mouse. And I'm, I'm digging that. It's a nice little addition. It's a nice little, uh, um, not, it's more convenient. Let's say, yeah, it's more convenient than the double tap. Like, you know, we're kind of used to our phones where you can just tap on something and open it. So, oh, yeah, I like that. And then the third technique, which is something I also follow, uh, something I also covered before was, so like for this, you'd have to go back to one to melee. And then if you hold both triggers, it's like a turbo. Well, that's kind of clunky, so I didn't want to do that. So what I have is middle click on the right pad, just click and hold. Switch to my fists, I'm punching, I let go, and it goes back to my shotgun. That feels really nice, and that's that one's a little bit of an older tip, but I did that in my Black Mesa config, or Half-Life, I can't even remember which one. Oh, if I'm smart, I will put these three techniques that I'm talking about here in the description, just so you can see the, the those specific tutorials. So I have a D-pad edge clicks. Up is weapon select. Left and right is cycling through the weapons. Down is map. Middle goes to action layer melee bash. Action layer melee bash. Give it a little bit of a fire start delay. Just so it doesn't... Just Those can be... Very helpful. That's also something I covered before, just as far as causing issues if you quickly tap. But okay, so we have regular press switches to my fists. Regular press with a longer delay is then holding left and right mouse, which is auto punching. Release press, I have it going back to my shotgun, but you could have it cycle to whichever weapon you wanted. Unfortunately, this doesn't have a previous weapon, and I just had it go to my shotgun because that's what I used for most of the most of my playtime so far. And then more of a delay to remove that layer. So there we got my crazy shotgun. I click and hold, punch, 
go back to my shotgun. Because the idea for that was, you know, like, I'm using something, um, what's something that has a long, I, I don't need to show you, you know what, you know what I'm talking about. Something that would have, like, a long reload animation, and somebody's coming up on you real quick, so you just buy yourself some time. Um, and yeah, I mean, clearly I went mouse and keyboard because this doesn't support mixed inputs and the analog move is not really analog anyways. So, you know, I just have D-pad, eight-way overlap. The haptics, though, is just an empty soft press, which I kind of prefer that when I'm doing D-pad movement like this in a first-person shooter. And then outer edge is sprint. Left grip is dash, which I don't even... I don't know what the hell that does. I have... Like that, yeah, I don't know if that's just something... It's it's in the bindings for keyboard and controller, but I... It's, maybe it's a skill that's just not in the game yet? But anywho, I mean, that's pretty much all I got, but I wanted to highlight it just because it is, like, as I say over and over again, you get, you learn more tips, you you start making, it doesn't necessarily have to be more complex, I'm always kind of trying to push just smoother, more context immersive type things, you know, like that, that uh, left trigger, just because you're often... You know, the animations are almost always the left hand, so it just, it, it feels nice. And that quick tap to interact feels good too, but alright, let's, uh, let's just show you a little bit of the game. That's, uh, that's, yeah, I've rambled on long enough. I'm digging the game, and you can find this profile up in the community, com com community configs. See, anytime I try to talk a little bit faster and be more energetic, I just stumble and trip. Let me drink some coffee first. So, alright, let's show you the game. Yeah, like, I'm not huge into, like, the super quick arena shooters, so I think maybe I like this one because it's a little bit slower. Oh, let's try that. See? <laughs> yeah, and then the shotgun has a charge shot. This gun's pretty cool too, so I like home onto them. And then they're it's like tracer shots. <laughs> the gore. Um, is there another weapon I wanted to show off? Not really. This is always the railgun one. Chaos, whatever it's called. Somebody behind me?
Where, where are you? There you are. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to line them up to get both. Some good old kiting. Okay, I think it's just... Some grunt guys left. Let's go to my fancy shotgun. <laughs> yeah, this one has an alternate fire where you can do all four bullets. Well, the music is telling me there's still somebody around. Where are you? Now, did I get them all? Yeah. So, yeah, man, that's it. I mean... I know I kind of suck at these types of games, but it's fun. But I mainly just wanted to go over it just to, like I said before, just to show you a nice little demonstration of a bunch of, bunch of different techniques all coming together to make one of these, you know, to make this config feel pretty good to me. I like that quick tap. I like the quick tap for reload. And, you know, this was an oldie but a goodie. Pulling that back. So, all right, man. That's all I got. I will see you around. Plump, juicy wieners are dipped in a thick, golden, southern-style corn batter that seals in all their freshness and flavor. If you like hot dogs, you love corn dogs. Everybody does. Try a corn dog with your favorite beverage. At the refreshment corner now. Corn dogs.